OK, let's go ahead and add some content to your course. To do this, you're going to want to click on the Turn Editing On button at the top right side or the Turn Editing On link in your Settings block on the left side. Once you do that, you'll see that now you can see a lot of symbols, also the Add Resource drop-down bar and the Add an Activity drop-down bar are now visible to you. At this point, you could look at the blocks along the right side, and if any of these blocks are something that you think you might not use, you could go ahead and hide them so that they're not visible, or you could totally delete them. I might suggest to start with that you just hide them from view rather than totally deleting them. One of the ones that I like to hide is the recent activity block. Okay, now you'll notice that again that's kind of a light gray, which means I as a teacher or the course creator can see it, but my students or my workshop participants wouldn't be able to see that block if they were in my course. Okay, let's come up to the top section here on our course and again if we hover our mouse over an icon, we'll get that little tool tip that tells us what that icon does. In this case, this little hand with the pencil is going to let us edit this summary or that top section of our course. So let's click on that and we'll put some information in here that maybe lists our course name and we might want to have a picture in there. So I'll say welcome to getting started with Moodle. Okay. Now you can also see in this text editor, you have a lot of those familiar icons from Word. So you can make things bold, italic, underlined, bullets, left, center, right, justification, right? The type of font you want, the size of the font that you want. So I'm going to highlight this since it's the title at the top of my course. I'm going to make that really big. So 18 or 24 point font. Um, I can also change the color of this font. So maybe I'll go with something like red. Now you want to be aware when you're creating courses that putting a lot of colors and different sizes and styles of fonts, if it's not consistent in your course, it can be really distracting. If you do have a consistent color scheme and are using consistent sizes of fonts, then that can really help people to follow the layout of your of your course. All right. At this point, I'm just going to click Save Changes. Um, now I'll notice that I didn't actually center that. It'd probably look nicer if I centered it. So I'm going to click on this little Edit Summary icon again. I'm going to come back in here, highlight this, and then I'll center it. And that should be good to go. So I'll save the changes at this point. As a teacher or a workshop instructor, professional development instructor, you might also want to put some information in this top block about your name and your contact information, um, kind of the purpose of the course. That might be helpful. For a teacher, you might put some information in there about the purpose of the course and um, the overall expectation um, as to when you want the work completed by might be helpful as well. But you can decide really what you want to have in that top block. Okay.